Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Today I'm going to share with you my spring slash Easter tablescape. It's very simple using existing items from around the house. Now this is a very critical time in all of our lives and I certainly don't want to encourage anyone to go out and begin shopping, especially for home decor. So with that in mind, I'm using existing items that I already had and simply just pulling them all together a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and go to work. I'm only naming the stores as a point of reference. So put those in the file for now. And when it's safe, then you can resume what you would normally do. But for now, just as a point of reference, the Navy napkins are from Kroger Superstore. I get great napkins there, great quality. The blue and white plates, as well as the matching bowls, are from Home Goods. They are a set of six and they're all different. And again, these things are a couple of years old. The chargers and the white salad plate from Dollar Tree. I also have the dinner plate, um, and it's also from Dollar Tree. Walmart has it for a couple of dollars more, just sharing, shop Dollar Tree. The placemats are from Home Goods, and the paper napkins, you know my thing, I love to put those underneath the cloth napkins. It always works out, your guests and your family will really appreciate that. The blue glasses are also from Dollar Tree. The um, plastic flute, that cut glass look, yep, yeah, that's Posh Party Supply, as well as the gold flatware. These Jasper jars that I'm using to accentuate my centerpiece instead of a runner. I think it gives me another option as opposed to putting more fabric on the table. And I think the bold placemats are bold enough to stand on their own. So no table runner, just putting down a few accessories from around the house. I purchased these at a local furniture store and take a look, they are $39 and I got them 50% off for two of them. So that's $40 for the two. Where as over here on Wayfair, they have these for almost $300 each. And I want you to realize something. A lot of times, just like clothing knockoffs, you have home decor knockoffs. And that's what these are. So they're not perfect. You see some of the design looks like some of the paint is bleeding or the glaze is bleeding. That's okay because this still pulls the whole look together for me and I save a lot of money. See? Okay, something that is growing in popularity, at least in my mind, is the kitchen riser. I love seeing risers on countertops, kitchen islands, and dining rooms, and also now coffee tables. So guys, I didn't have to build one, even though I had the hardware and the lumber to do so. We have two leaves that come along with our dining room table. I had one in the hot water heater closet. I took it out turned it over, removed some of the components on the bottom. They were pretty easy to take off. Take a look at this shop right here. You see, just taking out that hardware and those brackets, and there's still plenty of support, so it's not going to fall down. And painting it, and voila, it's sitting here on the buffet, and it's ready to be used cakes there, flat on the surface, they're elevated. I can take saucers, bowls, uh, additional napkins, things that I can just slide neatly so it's a neat presentation and not just all junky, but that will look really nice in use. I also painted it the same color that I painted the dining room chairs. So since it's going to stay in here anyway, it might as well connect to the rest of the furniture. So I hope you like this idea. If you have those leaves under your beds, on your benches, in closets, take them out. This is another way to get a riser that already matches your decor. 
I'm excited about this riser because one, I can use it as a part of the table scape. I can make it a table runner and I can also use it on the kitchen island. It is the perfect length there to do a nice buffet. So I'm happy to have it and I'm just happy to take it out of the closet. I'll be storing it underneath the bench in the dining room. And as you saw earlier this year, I got back into floral arrangements and these florals are from Hobby Lobby. The uh, painting on the wall, you guys know that I did that earlier. And I also picked the color up a little bit in some old pillows that I had, some raw silk pillows. So they came in handy. They bring out that gold or that orange gold that's in the painting. So that's why you have a mixture of yellows here in the dining room and an assortment of blues, but it all comes together pretty nicely. At least I think so. And I hope you like it too. Okay, so I've got paint sample swatches throughout the kitchen. A lot has changed. We're gonna have to do as much of this ourselves. That's okay. I really like getting my hands dirty. So I'm ready to keep going. So the next video, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to just wrap up the foyer. Just some quick updates there. And I've got some stuff on order, but you guys know the situation. We will do what we do. And when the other stuff gets here or when I find it, we will update additional things then. So in the meantime, we're gonna continue working over here. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so today by pressing that red button and also press the bell so you will be notified when I have uploaded the very next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay in prayer, and as always, stay creative. Have a wonderful day.